Quickly before we get started in this video, I just want to let you guys know that apparently half of my viewers aren't subscribed. So make sure you are subscribed. Thank you very much. Now let's get into the video. Yo guys, Features Gaming here and welcome back to another video here on the channel and today you can see we are on Roblox. Well it may not look it may not look obvious, but it, we are on Roblox and we are on Trade Lands. Now this game was requested by one of my subscribers named Simon. He wanted me to play this game, so I just thought, why not? Let's just do a video, see how I like it, and if I like it, then I will try and do a series on this game. And hopefully, if it is going to be turning turning into a series, I will try and do at least one episode a week for you guys. And then on some of the Roblox games, I might do the same thing. But obviously, streaming on my channel is going to be the main priority, but I will try and do some videos alongside. So, I've not played this game one bit. I've seen, I think, one video on this game, and it did look pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to dive into the... T in, dive into the dive into the tutorial if I can speak uh, and uh, yeah see what I can do so try the tutorial if you're new to trade lands yes learn how to play let's do that oh is this going to take me into a different game okay um, right uh, what do we do <laughs> I actually have no idea okay welcome to trade lands this tutorial will teach you the basics of the game click OK, click OK to begin okay First, you will need to learn the basic tools. Click the hot bar and press the number key. I just got... I didn't read what that said. Okay, okay. Okay, click your, click the hot bar and press the number keys to select a tool. Select your pickaxe slot one to continue. Okay, I can just do that using my number. There we go. You can open your inventory at, at any time to see what you have by pressing G. Okay, there we go. Find a nearby rock and swing your pickaxe at it, left mouse to begin mining. Keep mining until you have collected 5 iron. Click OK to continue. OK. I'm going to minus my hot bar then. Uh, where's the iron? Loads of people... Yeah, I, I thought it was over here from the video. So, um, I guess this is iron? C do I have to keep holding left, at, left mouse or can I just keep clicking? I guess I need to keep clicking then. Is this gonna go? Or do I wait? Yeah, yeah, I have a Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> right. It did look like I had my pickaxe selected then. Right, let's just keep swinging then. Hopefully this will go down anytime soon. I think this is what we're supposed to be doing. Is this it? Oh, did I need to click OK? Am I doing the right thing here? Is there any sound on this game? There was a bit of music. Am I doing this correct? Well, yeah, well, yeah there's, a, there's a massive arrow. Oh, here we go. Ah, okay, you need to get it just right then, I guess. Okay. You need to get the pickaxe kind of just right then. How are you supposed to, like, judge the right thing then? That's going to be hard. If the people who made this game are watching this, can you try and change this? Because... Yeah. Stone tools are only able to collect the most basic materials. If you want rarer materials or woods, craft a better tool. Okay. Now that you know how to collect materials, ish, uh, you will learn how to craft items with them. Locate an anvil and craft round and craft round shot. Okay. This is the anvil over here. I know an anvil when I see one from Minecraft. Uh, do I just click on it? Uh... Craft a bat. Do I need. Oh, okay. <laughs> These tell you what you need to do. Okay, craft a bound of round. Craft a batch of round shots. I have no idea where they are. Uh. Where are they? 
when it says round shots, does it mean as in cannonballs? It could have just said cannonballs. Right, show that. Oh, here we go. Yeah, round shots. Here we go. Uh, you just said craft a batch, so I'm just going to do that. Good job. Locate the warehouse manager and click the W icon above his head. You can hold shift to sprint. Stamina is indicated by the yellow bar on the hot bar. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can see it. Right. I'm guessing this is who we need to go and speak to. Let's press the W. Your warehouse can be used to store items to prevent you from being overburned. Overburned? Uh, over... Overburdened. Whatever that means. While overburdened, you will move slower. Ah, oh, right, okay. Could it just... Why, why are these, you know... Just go with simple text, you know? Items must items must also be placed into the warehouse in order to be used in the ship building. Close the warehouse and click OK to continue. Make sure you keep the cannonballs with you though. OK. Now it's time to build your first ship. I'm not fully confident on what I need to do though. <laughs> OK. Uh, I can close this then. Locate the speed. Locate and speak to the shipwright. Is this the shipwright? No, that's the dockmaster. Here it is, yeah. Follow the arrows. That's the best way. Here we go. Carl Stark, the shipwriter. Here we go, or the shipwright. Right, build ship. Choose a ship from the left of the... To left... If I can speak. Choose a ship from the left to preview it. The items required to craft it will be listed below. Keep in mind that all required materials must be in your warehouse. There is also a de there is also a details button press to view a ship stats. Press OK. OK. After building a ship, locate and speak to the dockmaster. Press OK to continue. I guess then. When it says that our materials need to be in our warehouse, does that mean that we need to have them equipped, or can we just use, or can we just have them stored in our warehouse? I don't know. Anyway, this requires oak, uh, uh, sixteen oak, and five hundred. How do we know if we've got enough money, or we've got enough? We can actually change the um. The different type of thing. Okay, so it will highlight in red if we don't have the materials. Okay, that's kind of neat. Right, let's get a goldfish sloop. I think that's what it is. Name your ship. Uh, SS Fetch. Why not? <laughs> Except. Right, so we've done that. I think. Close. Now we need to go to speak to the dockmaster in order to spawn our ship, I guess. Right, let's go over and speak to the dockmaster then. John McAdams, hello. Uh, Dockmasters are where you spawn your and despawn your ships. Yeah, click spawn ship if you haven't already. Plus OK to continue spawn ship. Okay, I can't see it. The pe this page is where you can view your ships and their current health. Health regenerates automatically over time. Press OK to continue. Okay. Uh, where's my ship? Did I actually buy? Don't say I didn't buy it. Oh man! All right, let's get back. <laughs> let's go back over to the shipwright in order to actually get our ship. Right, build ship, goldfish. Whoa, that is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Right, SS fetch, accept. Okay, ship constructed. Okay, let's go out now and go speak to the dockmaster. Hopefully, I haven't just bought two ships. Hopefully, I've only got one. Right, Jack McAdams, I want to spawn my SS Fetch. Here we go, launch. There we go. Sit on the seat and use W, A, S, and D to control your ship. Okay, where's the seat? That's the seat. Okay. Notice that the ship does not go the same speed in every direction. This is because, this is because of wind. Ah, so you actually need to uh, learn physics. Your ship will generally go faster when you are sailing downwind. The flag on your ship points in the direction in the downwind direction. Okay. Uh, next, you will learn how to trade goods. Press OK to continue. Okay. There's someone on my ship. Um, okay. Right. So it looks like the wind's going southeast, uh, southwest of my position. Then. 
Uh, right, I'm guessing we need to go over here, is that... Okay, it's taking quite a while to um, control the ship. <laughs> right, there's a, there's an arrow over here, so um, I guess we need to go and speak to him. Uh, let's go into dock. Right, let's just leave my ship there. Hopefully that doesn't drift away. Right, hello Trader Nicholas. Uh, can I have a thing? Oh, here we go. Uh, at any merchant NPC, double click an item to purchase it. Buy one unit of cargo right now and close the trader menu. Okay. Drop crate by pressing F. Face the crate with your character and press F again to pick it back up. Okay. All ships are capable of carrying cargo on their de on their deck. Hold and crate. Hold the crate above your deck to your ship and press B to drop it and detach it to your ship. Press OK once your crate once your crate is on your ship. Okay, um, I don't think I'm going to um, remember all of these hotkeys. Cargo sells for more money when you take it farther, further from where you bought it. But for this tutorial, you will travel to nearby Fenwick. To sell cargo, drop it on the back platform located on the docks. Press OK to continue. Okay, you can use your map default slot 4 to help find Fenwick. You are currently at Whitecrest. Okay, press OK to continue. Um, I am definitely going to forget some of these hotkeys. Right. I need to actually stand on the dock, don't I? Face the ship and press B. Nothing's happening. Awesome. Do I need to bring the ship closer? Or can I just sail like this? I don't know. Come on, turn. Let's try getting closer to the dock and seeing if that helps. Right, so go towards the back. B. Nothing's happening. Why is my boat doing this? Okay, I've fallen in. Right, I'm just gonna... I can't even... Get... Right, there we go. Right, let's just get out of here. Can I not even get out of here? Wow, have I broke this already? <laughs> wow. Oh, we've got speed here. What does that do? I don't know. V change camera, what does that do? Oh, it's kind of like a chase camera, I guess. Right, I am possibly going to drown here, and I haven't even started. <laughs> anyway, right. Oh, I can increase the speed. Why is my ship not turning? Right. Fenwick is over here. There's some arrows, but then we can also use our slot for turn boat. It's not actually this difficult to control a boat. I've driven a boat in real life and it's not this difficult. <laughs> anyway, right, slot four. Which is not working. Okay, I'm just going to continue travelling in this direction. Uh, I don't know how to get this... How, how to get this... Crow, I don't want to... Literally, I'm pressing B, which I believe was the hotkey, and nothing's happening. Um... So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's happening to that. Right, I'm gonna have to go with my own knowledge. And basically, the arrow was saying to go this way. So uh, hopefully, I get here quick. Um, if not, then uh, I don't know. Right, R increases. What does R even do? What does F do? They're supposed to, I guess, increase and decrease your speed. But uh, it's not looking like it does. Oh, I've dropped. My, I finally dropped my. Uh, I've finally dropped my crate. Okay, right. Fenwick is there, and we were at there. So I don't know where we spawned off Whitecrest, but I do believe that this is Fenwick. Okay. I can't remember what the hotkey was to pick the crate back up so that's going to be challenging when we get to Fenwick but um yeah <laughs> so I'm guessing this is kind of like a simulator kind of trading game and if you travel on boats and other people can get better boats you can potentially sink each other's ship brilliant <laughs> Anyway, let's have a 
let's have a closer look at the map while we're just arriving in Fenwick. Uh, there's Freeport down there, Perth just ahead of Fenwick, Vert, whatever that says, and Blackwind Cove. Okay, I'm guessing that's uh, that's Blackwind then, because um, I think this is Fenwick that we're approaching right now. Okay, so we're currently heading northwest. Okay. I don't know where I need to go. Okay, the arrow's telling me to go there. Okay, hopefully we dock this better than we did last time. So let's bring it in slowly. Let's uh, go a little bit left so we can line this up with the dock. Hopefully the tutorial will uh, tell me what uh, what the hotkey is again. I think it's either F or B or get or B again. I actually fully can't remember. Right, uh, let's just dock in at this point. Hopefully. So let's bring it a bit more to the left. Not that far to the left. <laughs> Jeez. Right. Head right. That'll do. Okay, drop crate here to sell. Right. I'd, uh, is it B? F? It's F. Okay, right. Drop crate here. So B to drop it. B to... Dr B to... F. I thought it was. I thought it was B. Right. Do we need to uh, Do we need to speak to you? Speak to the Fenwick Dockmaster and despawn your ship. Yeah. Okay. Right. Despawn ship. Almost finished. I've forgotten what I said at the start. Anyway, all that's left to learn is how to edit a ship and fire cannons. You've been temporarily given a new ship to practice with. Spawn the ship now. Okay. Spawn ship. Training ship, here we go, launch. Right, what do we need to do? Press 6 on... Si Press 6 or clip the ship editor button on the bottom right of the ship editor. Press OK to continue. OK. OK, it was number 6. You've been given a cannon, which is that, to place on your ship. To place a, the cannon, open your inventory G and click the cannon to replace it on the hotbar. Press OK once you have got once you have a cannon equipped. Ah, uh, <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> There's too much stuff to do. Right, I've now got that in my hotbar. Close your inventory if you haven't already, and select the cannon so that you so that it will be in your hand. Click the button above the cannon slot and place it. Click the button above the cannon slots to place it. Okay. I want to place it there. 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 How do I do this again? Character. What? Sit on the seat. Sit on the seat next to the cannon. Use W, A, S, and D to turn the cannon. If you have round shot in your inventory, you can press F to fire the cannon. You do not have to be holding your, the ammo in your hands. Okay. I'm still trying to figure out how I spawn this, how I put this uh, cannon down. How do I put it down? Uh... There. What do I need to do? Open the ship editor. Oh, right. Respawn the. I haven't even. Where's the ship editor again? What was it number six? Yeah, there we go. Right, empty cannon slot. Right, add. There we go. That's better. Okay, six. So if I sit on the thing now uh, this doesn't work I'll oh, sit on this oh wow right let's just fire up into the sky there we go oh wow okay <laughs> Uh, open the ship editor again, remove the cannon and despawn the ship, click OK, to, click OK to continue, okay, right, remove that, unfortunately, 
Uh, six again. Uh, okay. Now I need to despawn the ship by talking to the dock master. If I can actually get on to, get on, get on to land. Oh. Wow. Come on, get up and talk to the dock master now. <laughs> right. Sorry, Eric, about that. I was just trying to figure out how I spawned in a cannon. Right, despawn ship. There we go. At any time, so you can press C to view your character and skills information. Okay, congratulations, you have completed the tutorial. Press OK to return to Trade Lands. Okay, there we go. Man, this is going to get confusing. I just know that already. I'm going to get into the thing, and then everything is just, you know... <laughs> I'm just going to forget everything, and... Yeah, right, play game. Skip tutorial. I've already played it. Right. Choose a side. Uh, the coloured lines below indicate the relationships between the fact factions. All factions may engage in both trading and combat. There. That's where I am now. So. Okay. Why is my character like this? Jeez. People have got huge ships. Look at that one! That's like the Interceptor from Pirates of the Caribbean! All of these love are like the Interceptor from Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, right. As far as I just want to do, I just want to collect materials and that's it. Uh, is there any way of getting better materials? And I think there was a way to do that using an anvil, but I can't remember where the anvil was. Was it over here? Um, was it back here? I actually cannot remember. The scenery is different from the tutorial world to this world. Do I need to speak to a certain person in order to upgrade? Oh no wait, here's the anvil, okay. Right, what do I want to get? I want to get crafting. Uh, let me just uh, get a bit more space here, there we go. Okay, it's not there. Weapons, okay, alright, tools, here we go. Pickaxe. Uh, iron... Um, okay. I should have iron in order to get an iron pickaxe. No, I don't. Okay, then. Let's, um... Oh, God, I don't like this thing. Right, let's get some wood, then. Let's keep chopping. Come on. It's, took, it's taken that long just to get one piece of oak. Is there any way to quickly just see how many oak you've got? Oh, here we go. I've got two pieces of oak, and I don't have any iron. I kind of want to get iron as well, so I get iron by doing that. Stop moving and just hit this. Thank you. Right. I've got one piece of iron. I think it was six iron I needed. I don't say that you need to use your stamina in order to get iron and stuff. Oh man, right. I've got yeah, one piece of iron. Let's just see what um what I need. Yeah, seven pieces of iron and five pieces of oak. Man. Right, let's uh let's keep going then. This is possibly gonna take quite some time. Let's just keep going, there we go. Hopefully I don't run out of places, I guess. Do chopping down, like, trees bigger, does it give you more materials? What is it? I got, like, two pieces of oak from the last one. How much am I going to get for chopping down this one? I mean, I've, I've already got one piece of oak. Okay, that ain't... That, it's not actually... Come on. Thank you. How many am I going to get for this? Am I going to get three? Because that is exactly what I need. Hello? Swing! There we go. How many pieces of oak have I got? Okay, I've got five pieces of oak, so now I just need to focus on getting... I don't like how it, how it like, flips you into third person. I don't like that. I just want it to be on the chase camera all the time. Alright, let's keep getting some iron then. 
There we go. It's another one shot down. Where else is there a, is there iron? I think they're all just dotted around the map. Uh, it says that I got a uh, that I get money for um for delivering and selling cargo. But that's money for materials. I need I need to craft with materials. You can't really craft not using materials. Uh, and I think for building better ships you needed materials as well. So I'm not too sure that you can get um What do you even use money for? Actually just thinking about it. Or or is money materials? No, one This is being really weird. Is it supposed to be like this? Simon, I hope you're watching because I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Chop down the stone. Cause some pit sometimes it does it and sometimes it doesn't. Chop down the <laughs> chop it down. Oh my god, come on, just chop it down. Have I found the sweet spot? Why does my character keep doing this? There we go, right. How many cards have we got now? Six. Okay, one piece, one more piece of iron should do it. Okay, that guy's got another massive ship. Uh, I don't know how... I don't know when I'll get to that level, you know. Right, that's seven pieces of iron. So now we can get the next pickaxe, which I think is an iron pickaxe. And uh, as the... Um, that's my phone going off, if you couldn't already tell. Um, from what uh, the... tutorial told me better pickaxes can get better materials when cutting down resources so I don't know what the iron pickaxe will um, be able to give us right refresh here we go craft so we've now got an iron pickaxe so let's now equip that there we go we can possibly saw the uh, old one in our warehouse uh, where was that again I think it was no, it wasn't the loyalty merchant. It was the warehouse person. Um, not there. Where is it? Not the bounty hunter. I think it was the person with S. I cannot remember. No, they're premium merchants. Oh, it's W. Yes, it's, it's this guy. It's this guy. Right. I want to store my... Oh, I've actually got the... <laughs> I had the materials in my warehouse the entire time. Right, let's go ahead and transfer all of these. Transfer, transfer, transfer all of these. There we go. Uh, I want to put away my stone pickaxe. I want to put away my loyalty token. Uh, and also that's it I have a sword for battling I keep pressing escape when it's supposed to, when it's G to unequip right it could we actually get a better okay now we can't get a better pickaxe right I think what we'll do is see what um what materials we get now I could also uh, create an iron axe as well. Let's see what items I can get from chopping down this. Seeing if I do get any better things. I think I do actually get uh, items a lot more uh, frequently as well. Because I could take about 5 hits with, uh, with the stone pickaxe and nothing would have happened. But with the, uh, with the stone one I was getting it probably like every 2 clicks. Right, uh, do I have enough to get an iron axe? Yes, I do. Let's craft one of those. And again, let's put away my stone uh, axe in my warehouse. Uh, just like that. And then I can... No, I don't want my stone axe. There we go. Again, I keep doing it right. Iron pickaxe, equip right. No, equip back. Okay, that was a sword. Okay, fair enough. Oh, <laughs> Pressing escape instead of pressing G is going to be the death of me. I just know it is. Right, let's get two then, as that is my axe now. Let's chop down some... 
trees. There we go. Yeah, um, yeah. I, th I feel like I'm getting materials a lot more regularly. Right, let's see what I can get from chopping down this tree, and then I think we'll end off this first episode. Right, come on, keep swinging. Keep swinging. Keep swinging, come on. Keep going. My finger is really starting to hurt now. I'm just constantly clicking. I wish it could make so you didn't have to click. If you just hold click, that would be better. Or, or can I do that? If I just hold click, what does it do? No, okay, I need to keep clicking. That is going to be, that is a pain. Not going to lie. Right, so we've ended off this episode on 1,000 doubloons, whatever they are. 8 pieces of iron, 19 pieces of oak. And um, we've also got some iron tools. We haven't got an iron sword yet. Uh, we could create one now. Uh, how much is it for a sword? That would be under weapons, wouldn't it? Or is it a dagger? Or, or a, uh, a sab... A saber? Uh, dagger, short sword. I don't have enough pieces of iron, but I can get enough pieces of iron. Uh, I don't know how many iron I had. I think it was seven, wasn't it? No, eight. Okay. Click! Okay. I don't think right-clicking works. I, I w always used to hold right-click whenever, whenever going. I don't think I need to do that, so yeah, just click it. Right, oh, we got one piece of coal as well. Okay, that's quite good. Right, I think I'll uh, just gather materials whenever I decide to do another episode. Um, so, for, for, so far, from what I've seen from this, um, it's good. I don't think it will really become my favourite game, as I'm not really a type of building person. Uh, I mainly like simulators and stuff where you kind of, or like tycoons where it upgrades yourself. You don't have to build it yourself. Um, also, I know that uh, grinding on these games is another good way of getting money and stuff. But I kind of like the games where it's just something simple, not really having to run around and constantly clicking or anything. I just like something where if you had to just type something... Um, I think that's like another uh, good thing that I like doing. Uh, so tomorrow I have found another game on Roblox that I want to record as I think it's a really good game. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for tomorrow and I'll do a video on that in this exact kind of str uh, this exact kind of recording setup thing as well. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this first episode. Uh, I will try and get a, an episode out next week. Um, if I can, uh, maybe try and do one later on this week, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go now, so thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, all of that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care and peace out.